It's rolling now, so just start whenever. Oh, okay. Merry Christmas, whoever you happen to be. Or specifically you, because I made this just for you and only you, right? Merry Christmas! We made you a gift. Really, you have to make it, but we'll show you how to make it, and we made most of it for you. And really, I stole the recipe anyway. It's from Good Eats, um, season 5, episode 64. But I did most of the work for you, so. Um, first things first, you need to make sure the oven is heated to 300 degrees. Um, yes, just 300. It's not very high at all. But, um, and then prepare the pan. You need an 8x8 square baking dish. So preheat the oven to 300 degrees future people who are watching this and make sure that you have your lovely gift that came from us with you it's not dirt first things first you need to prepare the pan you spray it first this is always hard but you don't really just need to spray it because you're going to do the next thing too um, this is my favorite favorite part you Take a piece of parchment paper and you want to cut it so that it's just going to overlap on two sides but be the right size otherwise. And then just let it fold in but overhanging the other side. And if it, you know, sticks up on some of the other sides, that's okay too. Like that. So, it may not have perfect edges after that, but it's good enough. And the batter will weigh it down the rest of the way. So the spray helps it stick, and then any parts that aren't covered, make sure that the brownies don't stick too. So that's important step one. Step two is you take your four eggs, which I've already pre-cracked, because it's fancy like that. And if you have a stand mixer, it's better to use it, because you don't have to stand there with a beater forever. But um, because this is going to go for like two to three minutes. So you want to put all four of your eggs in your mixer. If you have the flat, like, beater attachment, that's the best thing to do. And then you want it just kind of medium-ish speed. <laughs> Basically, you beat the eggs until they're, like, fluffy and light-looking. So it's just going to be a couple minutes. And cut! so that you don't have um, stuff flying everywhere because that's no fun. So I'm going to add a little bit first. Come on. And then if you've left the pretty ribbon that I left on there attached, just make sure you don't get that in your batter. So, a little bit. So keeping it on a low speed, continue to add the rest of your pre-made mix and just in case you're wondering but don't really want to look it up it's a combination um, 
flour, cocoa powder, sugar, brown sugar, and salt. I think that's all. If I forgot something else, then I'm sure there'll be words flying across the screen right now reminding you that I also added whatever, but I think that's it. So, keeping it on low speed, racing the beater so that I don't hit it. But making sure it gets incorporated. See, it flies up like that when you add it too quickly. Just to make sure that it all goes through. Always a good idea to scrape. But you don't want to eat this one. Maybe you do. Lots of eggs. Really thick. These things are so good. And the rest. And make it up. And then once this has kind of been added in, in a minute or so, then you add the butter. You want eight ounces of melted butter, which is two sticks, and you want two teaspoons of vanilla. So I'm just going to slowly add that in too, because it'll help all this mix together a little bit better. So there's the melted butter. Sorry, I didn't show you what it looked like before you added that, but it was just mixed. You'll see. Boring steps. It's been a long time since I've made this. So you just want to keep, at this point, mixing it until it turns really smooth. Um, but I scraped down the bowl, too, just to make sure that everything gets incorporated nicely. And scrape down the beater, too. So just let it mix at, like, medium, low speed. Make it low. Scraping. This is the exciting part of cooking that nobody tells you about. Actually, I guess it's baking. Cooking probably doesn't involve scraping the sides of things as often as baking it. Just gonna let it run for a couple more minutes till it's nice and smooth. Oh, I'm gonna smooth. All right, so pretty smooth, like like frosting is smooth. It'll be good enough. And then I want to make sure I get all of it. So let's get all this gunk off of here. Delicious gunk. So that's really what you've got. It's really, really thick and delicious. And mostly butter and cocoa powder. So now you've got your pan, which you already pre made because you're smart. And now you just want to plop this in as much as you can. It's really thick, so it's going to fight you. But it's so worth it. Kind of looks like Elvis's hair there for a second. Do, 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 do. That's one of my fingers. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. And then you want to just make sure it gets in there. All of the sides. And the parchment paper, depending on how perfectly you actually made it fit, might fight you a little bit, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. I mean, you see how thick this stuff is, and it's not even baked. Imagine what it's going to be like once it's out. There we are. Then you want to bake this in your 300 degree oven. 
I'm going to put it as middle of the way as you can, right there in the middle. And it needs to bake for 40 to 50 minutes, pretty much. So I always like to set my timer for the lowest amount, and then I check it, and then I put it back on later. Um, really, you want to make sure that the internal temperature when you take it out is 195, but who really has time for that? Just stick a toothpick in, and if it comes out mostly clean, then it's good. So it's been about 50 minutes now, and I think the brownies are pretty much ready to come out. I've already turned off the oven. Okay, I don't have any toothpicks right now, so I am going to test it though just by... Yeah, that's perfectly clean. So Now it's been resting in the pan for about three minutes. Um, actually a little bit longer, frankly. But... Um, now we want to take it out and oh, so super easy. I'll put it right to my cutting board and I'm going to go ahead and already cut it and then put it on the cooling rack to cool completely from there. So I'm going to cut it into fairly small portions because it is really, really rich. It is fairly gooey. That's good. So they came apart a little bit as I was cutting them, but that just makes, you know, makes it so that there are more scraps for me to munch on myself. But here they are, and they're delicious. Oh my god, it's really hot. I'm not going to put that in. <laughs> the end. Yay!